Hello everyone, welcome back to another video with Arduino. Today we're going to be working with the 7 segment display again, but we're going to be implementing the potentiometer, which has the ability to slow down or speed up the display. So now let's get right into it. So the main thing, so the main thing we're working with today is this thing called the potentiometer. And the significant thing about it is it's basically a resistor and it controls the amount of resistance in a circuit. And by, you can see here, you can use, if you saw in the previous clip, you saw how I spun this. So here, um, it has this resistive element. And when you move it along this, or you do work on it, you can change the amount of resistance in the circuit. And so what we did today was check how much resistance is being, um, or the value assigned for this potentiometer. And then what we've done is adjusted the speed. We'll, I'll, rep I'll show it again later in the code. But essentially this is what we're working with, the potentiometer. Um, I'm gonna show all the um, wiring diagrams and some code so that you can make this project yourself. So first let's get into the wiring diagram. Okay, so here's the wiring diagram. You can see the connections with the different colors. Essentially, I just built off the seven segment display um, wiring diagram and added this potentiometer. It looks a little bit different, but this is how essentially the potentiometer looks. You take these two, you have these three different connections and then they each connect to five volt, A0, and ground respectively. So you can just check this out and copy down this arrangement. Okay, so now we're going to move to the code. Um, you can see some things very similar to the last video. If you haven't seen that, you should check it out. It's about the seven segment display and essentially how it works. But I'll just do a quick overview of it. Um, essentially, what you have are your uh, connections here, each of them correspond with a specific letter. So pin two um, correlates with pin E. Um, uh, pin 3 uh, correlates with segment D. Um, I'll display an image on the screen here. And essentially, if you can see on the screen, you see how each of the segments um, have letters labeled with them. And essentially, by giving power to each one of these, we turn on that segment. So for 0, we're going to turn on segments E, D, C, as well as B, A, F and that should form the number zero. Check out my video, my past video, if you want a more in-depth description. But for this one, um, what we're doing is we're going to connect our potentiometer to the analog pin A zero. It's very important that you connect it to that to that specific pin. Um, what we're going to do, we saw this from the previous one. This is just iterating through this two um, D array to show each of the numbers, but at this portion over here, we want to do a setup input um, with the potentiometer that we have and also initialize serial communication, um, which I'll demonstrate um, after this code walkthrough. So we wanna um, create communication with the serial monitor. And so that's what serial.begin 9600 is important for. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to iterate through each of these these numbers but instead what i want to do is i want to take this value i want to find this value of prez and essentially what it does is the value of prez which you can see here with this initialization the value of prez is equal to the reading from the potentiometer so this will output a number um the electrical signal the power of it and what I want to do is I want to find that value and set that as my delay. So whatever value, so let's say it outputs a value of 1000 when it's turned all the way clockwise, I want to make the delay 1000 milliseconds, or I want to make it one second versus if I, if I spun the potentiometer and I got, let's say a value of 20, then I want to set, initialize that as my, um, as my delay. I'll demonstrate this further with my um, demonstration, but that's the basic gist of it. What we're doing is um, creating initialization with the analog pin and then basically reading the value or the circuit, the circuit power of the potentiometer. And once we do that, we can then 
um, set the value red as the delay, making sure that a higher value red from the potentiometer will increase the will increase the time it takes to display these letters. And then when you turn it a specific way, clockwise or counterclockwise, then we make um, the display faster. Okay, so you can see that we have the serial monitor to the right of our screen right now. And essentially what this is doing, as I've stated before, is that it's reading the voltage from this potentiometer. So when I adjust it a certain amount, the amount of voltage that passes through will be the milliseconds that it's delayed. So obviously, if I make more electricity pass through, then obviously it would take longer to display or it'd be slower. So that's achieved. To, to change the um, resistance, as I've stated at the beginning of this video, the way you do it is by spinning this, spinning this knob, and you can see on the screen that the voltage that has passed through, that it reads, is a lot greater, right? You can see that on the serial monitor over there. And when I turn it to the right, this means I wanna add some more resistance. You see how these numbers are going down? And you see how they're at a steady pace? That's very important. If your um, numbers are fluctuating, there may be an issue with the way that you inserted the potentiometer. But essentially, you see how we can also find some sort of middle ground. And notice how it's kind of delayed the way that it's reading these, these um, values. I find that if you have a very, very small delay between the reading of these values, that it causes a ton of fluctuation. So essentially that's the gist of it. Changing these will change the resistance passing through. You can see now it's about 1018, 1018. See how it's kind of staying at that area. And then if I turn it clockwise, then we, then we increase the amount of resistance and thus there's less electricity passing through and thus we make we decrease the delay from each of these numbers displaying all right so that's going to be it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed today what we did was we created a seven segment display that is controlled by a potentiometer to control its speed and stay tuned for my next videos if you enjoyed this video please leave a like subscribe or comment and with that see you in the next video